G'day, I'm uh, Sean Matheson. I um, live down in Riverton, bottom of the South Island, with my wife and two children. Um, sure in the industry for 15 plus years. Still do a wee bit of sharing here and there, but mainly farming now on the family farm. And now I'll have the opportunity to be a uh, one of my life trainer, which is awesome. So I started shearing, well, I sure for 15 years, but I started, um, picked up a hand piece when I was about 13 years old. I started my own crutching run um, and sort of worked on that for until I was 16, 17. Um, it was good money for holidays. Um, and then, um, yeah, I actually left school and worked on a dairy farm for a couple, two to three seasons because my father <clears throat> didn't want me to go shearing too early, so my body was more developed. And then I went shearing and uh, for, yeah, 15, 16 years and just absolutely loved it. Um, Travelled the world, um, competed as well in competitions. And yeah, just made heaps of awesome friends. Yep. And uh, ended up buying shares in the family farm here with, um, well, saved money, scrimmaged, scrim <laughs> managed to make it work. So I bought some shares in the family farm and uh, now I'm here. Yeah. Um, I mean, so a couple of my things I remember the most out of for achievements um, would be uh, making the top 30 of the Golden Shears, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, um, that's quite a big thing to do. And uh, sharing in the, representing the South Island at um, Tequity Shears and sharing against the North Island team, that was pretty cool. And yeah, the other one is buying, making money saving money to buy shares in the home farm that was the biggest biggest achievement through sharing for me so when i started you know um the money was good then but it's even better now but i was you know one i know i was um quite bad at spending it because you're earning such good money and i was young and then i um yeah, sort of thought about it, you know, started sharing some good tallies and making some really good money and I thought, man, I've got to do something with this, so I just started putting it away. Um, not a lot at the time, you know, a couple hundred, five hundred here, there, and just, yeah, really saved, saved my pennies. Yeah, yeah so I... Um, Competed in the shows and speech years, and that sort of stuff really helped with um, oh, a bit of, bit of discipline. You know, you can't just have a few beers that night and rock up and think you're going to go well because it doesn't work like that. <laughs> but also gear and like meeting uh, really good shearers and that are willing to help, especially when you're younger, um, definitely helped me a lot. Um, I had my, my father there who was a very good shearer in his day so he helped me out a lot and a lot of other good good shearers definitely um, spent a lot of time with me which I still appreciate to this day um, and yeah I made I won some good titles in the seniors and made some uh, pretty good open finals um, which you know it was a bit of, bit of hard work went into it um, Involved in a few real records helping out um, with gear and that. And, uh, I did a couple of share thons. Um, with some, uh, one was up in the North Island for uh, cancer. It was, it was eight of us. It was, it was a pretty cool thing to be a part of. And then one in around here at the a couple of years ago. So. Um, yeah, you, like, you you work hard and you, you listen and 
people start to notice and yeah, um, it does start to pay off. Sometimes you've just got to be a bit patient, but yeah. Cherry industry is just, it's probably the best 15 years I had in, you know, um, in my life, like just getting out there, meeting people and pushing yourself to you past your own limits. And it's, oh, it's just, yeah, it's just amazing. It's, yeah, it's so much fun. Meet so many good people. And, um, like, the money is, if you're willing to make that money, it's there. And, just, you know, use it wisely. Mm. Being a trainer for one my life is, is just such an enjoyment with um, seeing it progress. Young people progress day by day, and just the once they get something like a clips, just the eyes light up. Eh? It's it's awesome, and just being able to pass on that knowledge that was passed on to me um, is is pretty special. Because yeah, like everyone's got a a very different way of doing things, but um, it's just awesome being able to show young people. Um, an easier way to do it, yeah. The training side of things is definitely important because it's not just about picking up a hairpiece and going to work. It's, there's uh, lots of things, you know, uh, how to eat well and, and stretches are a huge part of it you've got to look after your body. Your body is your biggest tool next to your handpiece. <laughs> but um, yeah, training is definitely um, what is required to become a shearer or wall handler, um, presser, whatever you desire. everything no um, just yeah it's not just about the basics of learning how to share like it's, it's like I said um, there's you've got your eating eating well and looking after your, your money that you make um, your stretching all those different things come together to make one machine well you don't have to be a machine but for everything to work in unison, that's the biggest. Yeah, I guess like when I did sharing courses, it was just about learning how to share. Um, there was no how to eat well or, or stretching and then warm, you know warm ups and then warm downs. And I really wish we did have that because it would have made a big difference. Um, a lot of people, I think. Yeah. Uh, coming on to the course, I'd say don't hold back. Um, get on it because it is very worth your while um, to do. Um, and you'll meet you'll meet new people, and they could be you never know they could be your mates for life after that. You just never know. Don't be afraid. Get into it. Um, in the war industry, I just really want, to, well, wish to see more young people stepping in into it because it's a great opportunity. And obviously, uh, wall price is very low, and it's an, it's a perfect product. And I really wish it would come up in price for everyone in general really um, and use utilize a lot more and we more wool one fun fact about myself is I love singing when I'm alone <laughs> even though I'm absolutely horrible at it but I think it sounds good <laughs> <laughs>